Welcome back, artistic family, to Shannon Gibson Art and Designs. And if, as usual, for those of you who are new or just stopping by, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, guys, so I said last week that I had something new, and I do. There she is. Artist Loft Silicone Oil. It is uh, a little under two ounces. So what I have here is what I call my test canvas. It is, I've painted it. Um, it's a 16 by 20, gorgeous palette. Um, I use a lot of the gold, the silver, the white, um, and the bronze quite a bit. But as you guys have noticed, I've uh, got a new love for copper. I absolutely love it. It's part of the neutral metallic family. But I just, I'm in love with it even more now since I did my earthy pores. Okay, so I have a slight mound, which is typically, you know, unless I'm doing a special technique, pearl pores or anything like that, guys, for the most part, that is my general consistency, is a slight mound, which means when it hits the canvas or the paint, it starts to build a mound, but it doesn't sit there. As it's building, it's dissipating, it's starting to go away. A mound to me is you see it, it sits there, it goes away, and a mound on a mound is just that. It's super thick. And, you know, you can just mound it, and as, as the paint comes off, it just continues to mound on top of each other. And then I have all kinds of new things today, guys. Uh, Deco Art Extreme Sheen. Now, you guys know that I use the Deco Art Extreme Sheen Metallic Silver, and it's a super shimmery. It's a very glittery type of paint. It's a sheen, and it kind of spreads and radiates. Oh, definitely has more of the yellow tone in it. And um, I'm really excited. Again, super shimmery. Hard for you guys to see with the lighting. And then I'm using my staple, my bronze. And see, as you can see, it's a, it's a lot easier to see with the metallic, especially than the white and the black. But you see it hit, and it just starts to go away. Right? It starts leaving a trace almost right away. And that's what I call a trace, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do now, guys... So we're going to get up close and personal. Hello, hello. Okay, so what I know from watching other videos over the last year and a half is you don't need a whole lot. And just what I know from oils anyways, it goes a long way. So typically a lot of artists will use two to three drops. Now I know that metallics are, for me, um, in wick consistency and the right technique, but they're naturally cell reactive. So they'll create cells quite easily. Um, but because this is the first time I'm using silicone oil, I want to have a lot of fun with it. I want to see some major cells come out of this baby, especially in these colors. Like you guys just know, I love watching the formation of cells or any effects. Like that's all part of my joy and love with fluid art. Um, it's not just the end result. It's everything within the whole process from beginning to end, except for cleanup. <laughs> but I'm pretty good organized, so my cleanup is pretty good. So what I want to do is minus the black, which is going to be a puddle on the base, as well as I'm pouring it inside of the cup, and I'll tell you how I'm going to layer the cup in a moment. But I'm going to put three drops into each one, okay? And this is oily. One, two, three. One, two, uh, it's really like a two, three, okay, one, two, three, perfect, okay, so we got our three drops of silicone, I cannot tell you guys how excited I am, look how cool that looks, look how cool that looks, guys, you can see the cell formation, oh, that's so pretty,
are so many pretty parts in this, guys. But before I keep going, first I want to say who uh, there was um, a family member, part of the artistic family subby, that left a comment a few weeks ago in one of my videos, and part of that comment was telling me that their favorite gold was 24 karat gold. Extreme Sheen by DecoArt. I've been trying to get the regular DecoArt Americana 24 karat gold forever. Never used it. So thank you very much. I can't remember who it was, but this gold is beautiful. Uh, the painting is still wet, guys, but it's the next day. As you can see, some of the edges are dry. Um, I usually do a wet result, but uh, I've been tied up with some commissions, guys. Um, as you guys know, I just got some new ones for my earthy pores, and it's just a lot easier for me to do those off camera. So I can just go at it and not have to adjust and move the camera several times, etc. Because they're always large pieces. But let's take a look at my favorite corner. Again, you guys aren't catching how vibrant it is. I have the light away and something's blocking the light so that you guys don't get too much glare. But those look like gemstones, rhinestones. It's just beautiful with that gold lacing and that copper. Stunning. Uh, up here, I love the really cool effects. It's really wispy. It looks like I took a straw and blown that out. This here is super cool. The wraparound of the copper. And look how beautiful that is and the cool effects with the cells. Just copper and black look gorgeous. I did a ring pour on those two a long time ago when I first started YouTube under my ring pour playlist. So you can check that out. I believe it's called Rocky Mars. Um, there's just so many sections. But I would have had a lot more cells that would have stayed if I didn't have so much paint. Guys, I have a really bad habit of when I do open cups, I never measure. I just start pouring the paint. Um, and I have to stop doing that. Because although I'm lucky enough that my open cups turn out well, um, they could be even better if I didn't have so much paint on the canvas. I've got a lot of cool movement. I love the negative space here with that cool copper. Um, this section is just unbelievable. It really is, guys. You'll see a little, little bit better in the close-up. But this is the center section that I lost a lot of it because I did a lot of tilting over here um, because I didn't want to get rid of the other stuff. But like I said, I really love the blend. Um, I will continue to use the silicone for a little while. It won't be a regular staple for me. Again, it's good to try new products and so forth, so I really wanted to give it a try. Uh, but next time, I'm going to have a lot less paint, and uh, I think I'm going to be doing a comparison and contrast with quite a few canvases at one time in the next pour, or two, coming up soon uh, with the silicone, so we'll take a look at that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, if you liked the pour, if you want me to continue using silicone, definitely let me know by hitting that big thumbs up button. And until next time, I will see you all in the next pour.